so this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for September 18th through the 20th. Now, with this being general, you only want to take what applies to you and leave the rest. Any information you need to get a personal will be also listed in the description. And if you want to see future readings, you guys already know, subscribe. Please leave a big fat thumbs up on this video as well. And let's get straight into it. So first card, we have Virgos. And happy, Vir um, happy birthday to my Virgos who um, whose birthday is coming up or happy belated birthday to my Virgos whose birthday has already passed. But let's get straight into it. The message from your spirit guides, we have the magical realms card and it says belief, confidence, and co-creative power. So... The first message your spirit guides want to pass on to you, how much do you believe in your ability to create change in your situation or how much do you believe in your spirit guides when it comes to them coming through in the universe, in yourself? Because a lot of like your personal experiences or like just the things that are happening around you may be happening because of lack of belief. And in a sense, it may be justified too because you may have had certain experiences that kind of like show and prove like, okay, maybe you shouldn't have certain belief for certain things or, you know, you've had experiences to where it would make you question it. But um, your spirit guys want you to understand that like you shouldn't stop believing in them because you go through certain experiences, especially with them being experiences that everybody goes through. It's kind of like not believing in the divine anymore because of the fact that um, you experience like a family death or you experience like job loss or something like that. Those are key components of life that unfortunately everyone goes through it's not a thing that anyone can avoid the universe unfortunately cannot play favoritism with certain aspects of just life it's an experience but anyways getting deeper into the reading the first card is going to represent the theme and i have the nine of cups so this time frame has a lot to do with you wanting to get certain results, wanting to get certain outcomes, and a lot of you trying to figure out exactly how to get there. What's keeping you from getting there? A lot of you on paper, things may be fine, but below the surface, it still feels like something's missing. And a lot of you are on a journey to figure out what that is. For a lot of you, it is more so an attachment to a Capricorn specifically, or... To just negative attachments, a negative relationship. For some of you still struggling with a drug addiction. This is struggling with temptations. And the guilt associated with those temptations or the need to emotionally fixate on those temptations. The things that hold us back. Now, looking at love specifically, I have the Eight of Pentacles. So a lot of you are questioning whether or not there's room or an ability to make something work, to build something. For my singles, again, you're focusing more so on work and responsibilities. So I don't really see that being a focus for now. Um, but yeah, for a lot of you, you already know the full on truth when it comes to someone you have children with or someone you're married to or were married to. Um that you guys just may not be on the same mental page or may not be on the same page or like the arguments you guys are going to continue to have bad arguments or the mind games or really nasty things that may have been done to get back at the other individual, like somebody doing things to kind of spite the other person. It may be really hard to move on from that, especially if this is like a Pisces air sign really doesn't matter.
And then when it comes to career, I have the Knight of Swords. So it's like, some of you are like trying to rush ahead and get things sorted out in your career, but you could be like missing important details. So for some of you, like, for instance, you're trying to get like a new job, but you may be missing important details about like what that job may entail or whether or not the job will be good for you and then like find yourself in a pickle. Or, um, some days you're focused, some days you're not. That could be a bit of a struggle here as well. But the advice for you just getting your head right, getting your mind right, getting your, your, your focus back. Okay. Seeing things from a logical standpoint, especially where a lot of you have been putting too much of your energy forth and not getting anything back. Hmm. Now, this last or not last card, the second to last card, it's going to represent the conflict with the three of swords. Um, again, this is fixating on disappointments of the past. Or are you currently being disappointed with certain things not necessarily panning out the way you wanted it to, but not seeing how in reality, it was never going to be that way. Like, for instance, this is like expecting a very inconsistent relationship to somehow, some way just become stable out of the blue. When in reality, you know, that's not going to happen. But it's like, I don't know, a piece of you has been too hopeful. And then with that piece of you being hopeful, it left room for disappointment in a situation where you knew it was just going to be that way. It's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Some of you constantly like, I don't know. It's like letting disappointment like stop you in your tracks almost. And this is beyond love. This is like in career too. But this last card, this is going to represent your next set of actions. And with the Nine of Swords, this is overthinking. You guys need to stay out of your head. I'm telling you, this whole reading is like a subconscious one where a lot of you guys are like going through it, man, because some of you are watching too many tarot readings and not taking enough action, not doing enough physically, more so just thinking yourself into a storm. But this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective for you. Um, if you took something from this reading, of course, make sure you subscribe, like this video. And if you need a personal, just check the description box. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.